Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to make Windows 7 faster. Free and easy steps that you can take. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here by adjusting the Windows boot up time and also disabling any startup apps that are not necessary to run when your Windows operating system starts up. Okay, let's go down to the start menu here and on the command prompt Go ahead and type the word msconfig, and that's M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. And once it comes up in the list up top here, go ahead and click on it. And that will open up the system configuration window within Windows 7. Now, at some time in the past, you or somebody else could have made um, you know, adjustments within this um, system configuration, but these are the ones I recommend. Under Boot tab, um, the timeout here is default by 30 seconds. I like 5 to 7 seconds here, so I'm going to make it 5 and click on Apply. And um, also under Startup, apps. Now these are all the programs that are starting up that not necessarily need to be started when your um, Windows 7 is running and you can disable them. And by the way, your list could be much longer because um, this is my test machine. I only have a few things running on it. Once you disable them um, that you want to have disable, click on apply. And let's get out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and click on exit without restart because I have some other suggestions that will increase the speed of your Windows 7 operating system. So I'm going to click there. All right. Um, up next, enable high performance power. Now you can um, go down if you're on your laptop and right click on the battery and then go up and click on power options you can also go in here through the command prompt on the start menu and type in power settings if you want and that brings up this window where you can select a power plan and uh, by default it seems always to be um, set to balance recommend it now to get absolute high performance you click this down arrow on the right hand side and click on it and uh, put a mark there next to high performance and once you've uh, accomplished that go ahead and close this window out and we are going to go ahead and move to our next item to speed up your Windows 7 operating system and that is defrag your mechanical hard drive and keep in mind never defrag an SSD. Okay let's go down to the start menu again and click there and on the um, command prompt here go ahead and type in the word defrag D-E-F-R-A-G and once it comes up on the list up top here go ahead and click on defrag or disk defragmenter um, either one will open up the defrag um, software program and uh, keep in mind this is a free built-in um, application now as you can see um, mine is scheduled, yours probably is also, to run at 1 o'clock a.m. and the next one at 2.26 a.m. Um, in the morning, once a week. And I don't know about you, but rarely my laptop is turned on um, in the middle of the morning or in the middle of the night. Um, so it rarely gets ran, and I prefer to run it manually anyway. Um, so once you... Um, decide to go ahead and run this you can click on analyze disk or you can just go ahead and click on defragment disk um, when you do click on defragment the uh, the disk here um, it analyzes it first anyway so it's kind of like bypassing that first step and just moving forward and making it uh, go ahead and automatically run for you um, once it finishes analyzing, it'll go ahead and begin its defragmentation and it'll go through several passes. And um, you can go ahead and go get a cup of coffee or grab a Coke out of the refrigerator while this is running because on some systems this can take um, 
It's been known to take a couple of hours, actually, but uh, um, on the most part, um, this could be finished in anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes. So hang in there, be patient, let it run. And uh, what it's doing is defragmenting all your files on your hard drive and putting them in sequential order and uh, putting them, uh, you know, the pieces back together so that uh, it's accessible at a faster rate of speed. And that speeds up your Windows 7 operating system. All right, um, let's go ahead and close this out. And of course, I'm going to click on stop because um, there's no need for you to sit here and watch this be defrag and waste your time. Okay, next item after we close this out is going to be cleaning up your junk and temp files. Now, this can be very easily accomplished by using a free application call C Cleaner, and you can Google and get this off of the internet and uh, it's malware free and once you have it open you can on the first item here you can see that it has a lot of things checked off that it's going to clean for you and you can analyze it or you can go ahead and click on run and um, it will go ahead and clean all of your junk files and your temporary files off your hard drive for you that's been uh, filling up space that uh, and resources that you need and it does no harm doesn't delete anything that's important so don't worry about that okay we've come to the end of this video subscribe and leave a like